the landscape out here is going to drastically change and, and all the work we've put in place for the last year and a half has all just been preparation for the next year's worth of work and it, it's really been just ramping up to this point. It, it's, it's going to be pretty cool. That's the view from Chinbro team members at the Sarah Mildred Long Bridge Replacement Project where a steady stream of milestones arose in and around the Piscataqua River throughout the spring and summer of 2016. The team entered the year during a mild winter when the installation of the job's access trestle and 29 drilled shafts was a significant focus. The last shaft was placed in May, which cleared the way for Chinbro crews to get started on some cast-in-place concrete and precast tub foundations. So the drilled shafts are basically the connection from the pier to the bottom of the ocean. Uh, these uh, drilled shafts are 10 foot wide diameter steel caissons. And uh, for the tower pier, there is eight of them that connect the tower pier to the bottom of the ocean. The steel shafts, they get drilled into the rock 25 to 35 feet um, based on the area. The uh, precast tubs that we'll be setting over the coming months, they're big concrete forms that actually sit on the drilled shafts here behind us. So these forms will actually sit and then stay as part of the permanent structure. So all the rebar and concrete will be placed inside of that and it'll become a pier uh, that we can then build off of. Instead of going in and forming to place concrete on top of the drilled shafts, we're gonna set a precast concrete foundation in place. It's, it's hollow, it just has four walls and a floor. It sets down and seals over two drilled shafts on the shared piers and eight drilled shafts on the towers. And we'll go in, fill it up with rebar and concrete and that will create the foundation for these piers and then we'll build up from there. We'll build the structure to support these precast railroad and roadway segments. By July, Chinbro crews were building the bases of the two massive towers that will support the lift span of the new bridge. The bases consist of nine extremely heavy precast segments brought up from Virginia. Lifting the weighty segments into place looks easy when Chinbro's expert team takes charge, but the operation is actually filled with potential challenges. They came up from the bars from Virginia and we started installing them and we figured out they're actually a little heavier than they thought they were going to be. Thankfully the crane is good for it. Their 350,000 is our heaviest pick. We're using Chimbro's newest crane, the MLC 300. Um, Chimbro's newest barge, the Pride barge, um, similar to the Respect barge. It's a heavy lift package, and uh, it's going real well right now. They're big picks, and we, you know, we do our best, take our time, and make sure everything's right before we start. And number one, we get every, you know, the right people in the right places before we start. We work with the local marine authorities, the Coast Guard, the Harbor Master, and the State Police to do their best to kind of control the boaters in the area. You know, we're working, it's a live channel, there's boaters going through all day long, plus there's lobstermen, fishermen, everybody's trying to get through while we're working. Uh, and we just need everybody to go slow, take it easy around us while we're making these picks, because the last thing we need is to get a big wake with something that heavy. It, it, it's gonna make a big difference in how things go. While Chinbro crews carefully made the big picks that would form the foundations of the lift towers, another Chinbro team was busy casting the concrete components that would eventually become the towers themselves. The team members here are hard at work in the Chinbro precast yard on the Portsmouth side of the river. And when they are finished with their tasks in November, they will have created 88 segments that will be stacked one upon the other to form the 200 foot tall towers. The main DOT and the inspectors are continually impressed with our quality of workmanship that's going into the product. They tell us all the time that we're doing a great job working like clockwork out here. There are plenty of challenges that come with every single segment that come in and out. Normally what you do with precasts is they're typical segments. When we get to 11 through 21 on each tower, those will all be typical. Embeds will be the same, rebar will be the same, bond outs will be the same, one through 10, they're all different. There's PT bars, different embedments, uh, different door openings. There's all kinds of stuff. But despite the complexities that you're talking about, the DOT is smiling on the work that's being done out here. Everybody knows what to do out here. The crew, in the crew, they're doing a great job. They always know what to do next. They're very well versed in what we're doing right now, all the time. Anytime we get any accolades from the state or the inspectors, it goes straight to the crew. 
Meanwhile, the traveling public will now begin to see the old Saralong Bridge coming down and the great new bridge rising out of the river with railroad and vehicular spans beginning to snake across the water, all in preparation for a September 2017 opening and a June 2018 completion. The big cranes, the big barges, the big picks are great. We've proven we know what we're doing and I think the work we do speaks for itself. There's no news is good news is how we put it. You know, everything goes to the plan and uh, as far as I know, everybody's happy. So in the last year and a half, all this prep work we've been doing, there's only been a handful of piers that have come up out of the water that the public's been able to see and, and can tell as part of the new bridge. But as we get rolling and building on these drilled shafts, more and more piers are gonna be coming up out of the water and it's gonna become more and more evident what we're doing here. They'll start to see a resemblance of the old bridge, the two towers in the middle and all the approach piers and they'll see the railroad structure coming underneath and as we start stacking the, the vehicle segments on top, they'll see the two decks, one on top of the other, just like the old bridge. It's gonna be pretty cool for people driving by.